a crazy appetite. With that, he looked around for more and spied a vacuum on the floor. Sneak, sneak, stop, look, sneak, sneak, look, click. Nothing left at all except a heavy heart. Old Mother Hubbard told her dog that they would have to part. As soon as he saw food again, his noble thoughts took flight. All he thought of was his appetite. Little Jack Horner in his corner lost his only pie. And Mother Hubbard's hungry hound happened to come by. Little Miss Muffet on her tuppet ate her curds and whey. When down beside her came the dog and frightened her away. Peter Piper picked a peck, a peck of pickled peppers, a peck of pickled peppers picked he. But while Peter Piper's back was turned, they were gobbled up one, two, three. Puss and Boots threw in his line and pulled the big fish up. To his surprise, before his eyes swung the hungry pup. That seafood was delish. From now on, I'll make fish my dish. With that, he dove right off the shore to meet them by the score. Yes, he gobbled up all the fish in sight and seemed to relish every bite. The news spread fast and far ahead until it reached an oyster bed. To stop this hungry pup, or we'll all soon be eaten up. Now I'm a blue point wise, and old our shall protect us, so I'm told. So when we see that hungry pup, we'll clam right up. We'll clam right up. Now they posted one to sound the call. They didn't know he'd eat them, shells and all. Much weight he couldn't swim, and it looked like this was the end of him. While poor Mother Hubbard longed for her pup and dreamed of the day when he'd show up. Must be something that he ate. 
Worcesters. The poor house mortgage has been paid. Some changes have been made. Now there's lots of things to do. Tennis, golf, and polo, too. Rich Mother Hubbard hasn't a problem. She got a fortune from under the sea. Her dog still has an appetite. Steaks are all he'll ever bite. No more is Mother Hubbard's cupboard. 